Mary is a casual laborer in the outskirts of Nairobi. Due to high power connectivity costs, she has been forced to use alternative means to light her home. I have been using kerosene and it has been a challenge because we didn't always have money to buy it. Also, inhaling the toxic fumes will often make us ill. But after switching to solar lighting, life has changed for the better. Having recognized the need to provide power at affordable prices, Sunny Money has embarked on a journey to light Africa. Sunny Money um, has sold over 1.3 million lights uh, throughout the countries we've, we operate, which is five countries, Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Malawi, and recently Uganda. Um, we have done this from the year 2006, and we are the largest distributor of solar lights in Africa right now. And we are proud of the impact that we are having. We, so far we have touched over 1.3 million lights, and we are set to do another 1 million lights over the next one year. This social enterprise works with agents who distribute solar-powered lights two communities around them, in turn, the independent agents are able to earn extra income. We normally sell the GD lights, mostly like, okay, we, we may be having orders outside country, or we can be selling like uh, 100 units, that's more according to our clients. That's now in a month, or maybe in a week we can get somebody who needs like 50 to 100. Uganda not, not very, but uh, Tanzania and then in Kenya, Limboi and Kakuma. But why focus on solar energy? I would say um, Africa is very blessed because we have the sun out every day um, from morning to evening, every day of the year. And uh, it's such an abundant resource and it's important that we tap into that to solve our own problems. And lighting is one of the major, cha major challenges that we have. And so well, it goes without saying that, you know, we use the available natural resource that it's free to sort out, to solve our problems. In order to reach the communities in need, financial ability is an important factor, but this has been a hindrance. Also, there are other challenges faced. Mostly the challenges are the prices. Sometimes you find there are other products, other people who have introduced their products. So when you are doing the sales, uh, you get that there are some challenges when you, when you are selling to somebody, he's telling you there is another product, they are getting a certain price, which is a bit lower. But still, uh, the quality-wise is okay. Sunny Money plans to expand its reach to more African countries in the long run. Our goal actually is to eradicate kerosene for lighting from Africa and we don't just mean you know kerosene only because in other countries we have other sources of lighting that are all that are toxic and dangerous such as candles um, torches so you know our goal encompasses all that and we hope to be you know to be in to have a presence in each country in sub-saharan Africa especially where lighting is still a major challenge by the end of this decade for Mary and her family the switch to solar-powered lighting has changed their lives for the better. Yes, I would recommend people to use solar lighting because it is cheaper and you only need energy from the sun to charge the lamps, so it's free of charge. We are also living a healthier life because we are not exposed to the kerosene fumes anymore and we are happy.